Alright, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to some Elite Dangerous. So, we're here in the 2.2 update, and we're flying around in our favorite hazardous resource extraction site. And what I thought we would do today is just kind of take a look and see what the combat is like since 2.2 has launched. Is it is it different than 2.1? Are there any alterations in the AI? I don't know. Stuff like that. Because, you know what, combat is not something I tried out extensively during the beta for some reason. I was just more interested in like what all the new features were, all the new ships and missions and stuff like that. Now, all, yeah, and all the new engineers too. But yeah, I didn't really try out the combat a whole lot. So now that 2.2 is actually live, let's just fight some guys and see how that works out. Let's actually deploy weapons and see what kind of ships are around here. It looks like there's something fairly big in front of me. So I'm just going to boost up to it and see what it is. It looks like even maybe an anaconda. Wouldn't that be cool if the first ship we encountered out here was an anaconda? That would be great. Oh, look, it totally is, and it's six kilometers away. Hopefully he's wanted and not annoying. Yes! Oh, and it's elite, too. Great. So, let's fight it. Okay, so, since this is the actual release, we're going to do the kill warrant scanner, and then we're going to blow the crap out of it. Now, I have made a couple of changes to this python and they're not significant changes but what i've done is i took some of the grade five um multi cannons off of the imperial clipper from when we did the upgrades on those and i put them on this ship so we have two grade five upgraded multi cannons and one grade three uh, upgraded multi cannon and then i also changed out the frame shift drive so that's not going to affect combat but rather than having the grade three upgraded frame shift drive, we actually have the grade five upgraded frame shift drive. But on this ship, it only gets us about 19 light years. So I, either that's as much as we can get out of this with this particular configuration, or I just didn't do a very good upgrade. Anyways, you guys probably don't care about that. Let's just, let's just kill this guy. Let's go ahead and target his power plant. And he's getting behind me. Isn't that neat? So yeah. Let's let's blow him up. It's time to do that. Here we go. Okay, this is not too different so far. But he doesn't seem to be flanking me yet. But he is kind of far away. So there's that. Under attack. Okay, and now he's going to return fire. Warning. Thermal attack. Gaining heat. Okay, we seem to be doing okay. He's not blowing the crap out of us, even for an elite anaconda. So that's pretty good. And it seems to be a little bit easier to maneuver around him than I think it was in 2.1, actually. So this is cool. We're getting his shields. We have pretty much no power in the weapons right now. And yeah, okay, so his shields are down, and we're right in front of him. Our shields are kind of not doing that great also. I might use a shield cell right now. And we'll just keep firing on him, pretty much. I'm even going to keep firing on him while I'm using the shield cell. Let's see how far the heat goes up, 160%. And let's see how fast it dissipates. Not very. Not very fast. Okay. I should probably stop firing for a second and let that heat dissipate. Yeah, okay. Okay, but we've got him down to 35%, 30%. These upgraded multi-cannons are doing pretty good, I have to say. And he's not just behind me the entire time. Wow. That actually makes me think I could take the turrets off this ship and just replace them with gimbal blazers. But we'll have to fight a couple more guys to find that out. Okay, 1%. Let's see. So he should be dead about now. Should be exploding. There he goes. 301,000 credits. Cool. And now I bet we're really far away from, you know, the from the nav marker. Yeah, only 19 kilometers. Okay. So let's see what we've got. Hey, another anaconda. Cool. All right, it's 7 kilometers away. Let's go toward it and see what happens. How many anaconda How many elite anacondas can we take out right now? Cool. Here we go, and we're gonna give it a scan, of course, and then we'll blow it up, and I should probably put, you know, power in my engines when we're trying to go fast, so yeah. Okay, let's give him a nice scan, and then we'll blow him up. 
So, yeah, that was only one fight so far, but that seemed a lot better than 2.1, just for some reason. It seemed smoother, it seemed more fun, if that makes sense. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead and target this guy's power plant. And he's just alone, so we'll go ahead and just start firing on him. Yeah, that went pretty well with the first anaconda, so let's see how it goes with this one. Looks like he's doing a lot of the same stuff. He's just rounding on us and doing the whole frontal assault thing. But that's okay. We can really take it. We've got the shields. We've got the shield cells. In fact, I'm going to use the shield cell right now. We should have plenty of shield cells on this ship. I've got quite a few. And uh, it looks like he's not, you know getting behind us. He's a little bit above us right now, but not not necessarily behind. So that's cool. And look at that. The heat's actually dissipating at a decent rate. I feel like that's been altered a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but it seems like the heat from the shield cells is dissipating faster, even when I'm firing and building up more heat. So I don't know. If I'm wrong about that, you guys can let me know in the comments, but that's what it seems like to me. Yeah, this seems seems way better, in fact. So after this anaconda, we'll try fighting some other kinds of ships and see what happens. But I feel like we're having way better luck fighting large ships like this than we were in 2.1. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Are you guys liking the combat better since 2.2? Is it is it more fun for you guys? I think this is more fun. What do you guys think? Anyways, looks like I'm going to have to use another shield cell. That's okay. Like I was just saying, we have plenty of shield cells, so that's not a big deal. We've got him down to 35%. Yeah, there we go, 35%. And, yeah, he's, he's pretty much just pummeling our shields, but that's really to be expected. He's doing a lot more damage than the last Anaconda, but maybe it's just because I'm, you know, maneuvering kind of more crappily than I was before. Oh, there's a new word, crappily. Anyway. All right, let's come around. And he's down to 19%. And we got to get him before his shields come back up, basically. That's not gonna be good for anybody if his shields come back up. So he's down to 7%. My shields are almost down. Look at that. I was just firing at nothing there. That was great. And 3%, 2%, 1%. And his shields came back up. 1%. Oh my god. No way. Ah, oh, I gotta use a shield cell right now. My shields are about to go down. Okay. Well, if my shields go down, that was my own stupid fault for waiting that long to use it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. I have this one multi-cannon that has this auto-reload thing, so, like, every time you fire, it pretty much just reloads right then, so, like, whereas the other multi-cannons have to stop and put in a new clip, this one really never has to do that, so even when the other two are reloading, this one multi-cannon will pretty much keep firing all the time. Oh, my shields went down. Crap. Well, again, that's my own fault for doing that, and my hull is now down to 91%. Okay, he's at 1%. Wow. Okay, maybe maybe I'm um, wrong about the combat being a little bit different here. It seems like he's kind of kicking my ass right now. Okay. 1%. And look at this. That's crazy. Okay, we got him, though. Wow, that was, that was quite the intense battle. Wow. Okay, let's have our shields come back up, and then we'll go find somebody else to kill. Okay, shields are back online. And there are actually, like, two more anacondas around here. However, I want to fight something else. We've just seen two anaconda battles. So here's an Imperial Clipper. Let's see how we do against that in 2.2. Also, I notice, like, when I do these kind of combat videos, you guys make comments like, put it in the blue, asshole, and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I fucking know that, okay? It's just that I'm trying to do commentary at the same time. So you know what? For you guys who say that kind of stuff, like, try and record some commentary while you're playing this, and just, it's, 
okay, it's I'm not complaining that it's hard or something, but you know, it's it makes it a little difficult to keep an eye on everything while I'm trying to like talk to you guys and like fly the ship and fight people at the same time and stuff. So you know, I I know these things, guys. Come on, just I'm, I'm trying to do the commentary. Anyways, okay, so I just scanned this guy, right? Yeah, okay, I just scanned this guy. Let's target his power plant. Let's see what combat with an Imperial Clipper is like now that somebody else has engaged him. Crap, okay. And I have one shield cell left in my current bank. Ah, oh, the Anaconda engaged it. I have one shield cell left in my current bank, and then I have two more banks of shield cells. Okay. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, that might have been because the Anaconda was firing on it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna, you know what? Okay, let's say it was because I'm that badass. I took him out that fast. Yeah, that, that was the reason. That was the reason that happened. Hey, a python. I bet it's I bet it's not wanted. No, it looks like he's a minor. I don't mean he's underage. Dang. Okay, so this is a python, or a python, yeah. This is an anaconda right here. And we have an asp explorer, which I bet is also a minor, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Okay, well. You guys want to see one more Anaconda battle? It's only deadly rank. Okay, let's do this then. We'll scan him. And there were also some comments saying that, oh, you don't have to use the kill warrant scanner all the time. But Well, you know what? I like to use the kill warrant scanner because, you know, even though you have to go to, like, different systems to collect the bounty, usually, like, you can do that. And then you have more money. So that's why I like to do that. Anyways, okay, let's target this guy's power plant and his bounty is 230,000 credits. Pretty nice. So, yeah, let's let's do this. Let's take him out. And he's going to engage somebody else. Isn't that cool? Okay, we're 1.7 kilometers away. That is a pretty good engagement distance for this particular ship. My pulse laser is nice and malfunctioning and awesome. Okay, and he's now firing pretty much a lot of weapons at us. Oh, he already took some damage, that looks like. Okay, so that's neat. So this is Anaconda Battle number three. And let's just blow him up. So yeah, these these grade five upgraded multi-cannons really do some good some good damage. And they're way more useful on this ship than on the Imperial Clipper which really doesn't do that good for bounty hunting since 2.1. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that ship. Guys, let me know what you think about the Imperial Clipper for bounty hunting down in the comments. Do you, do you guys think that's a good ship for bounty hunting? Personally, I think it was good in like, you know, in like 2.0, like, like before 2.1, basically. But maybe we'll have to try it out in 2.2 and see if it's still good. So that's, that's a thing that we could do. Hey, a federal dropship. Let's see if it's wanted. I don't want to engage guys that aren't wanted. I did that a little bit in the beta, but that was the beta, and this is not the beta, so... Yeah, okay, this guy is wanted. So, here's a ship that's not an anaconda. So, for our next battle, we will be taking out this guy if he's not already dead, because that might be an anaconda firing on him. Crap. Or a python. Might be a python firing on him. Yeah, it looks like he picked a fight with that miner that we came across earlier. So, all right, let's do this. I'm not even going to target his power plant. Let's just fire on him because he's already in combat. So, wow, those shields went down fast. Okay, maybe we did take that clipper out just that fast without a lot of help from that anaconda. Maybe we are just that badass. I mean, this is, you know, a fully loaded, upgraded python and stuff. So it could just be that badass and stuff a little far away for the multi-cannons, but that's okay. We're still going to get him 0%, and he's done for. Goodbye. 146,000 credits. Hello. Okay. So, cool. All right, that's pretty good. And yeah, that's the same guy who's not wanted. Okay, so what else have we got around here? Nothing really. There's another python. Let's see what we've got. No minor, no minor, no minor, no minor. Ah, damn. Okay, well... Oh, there's a battle right over here. Let's see what's going on. I should probably put some power into my shields and let them recharge. That might be a good idea. 
Okay, so whatever we've got over here, this is probably going to be our last battle. And then, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys to let you know, to let me know what you guys think of the combat in 2.2 versus the combat in 2.1. And this clipper that I targeted is not one of the ships that's just up ahead right here. Asp Scout. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got a number of ships up here. A 3-3 wing with an Asp Explorer that's already down to 26%. I don't know if I want to pick that fight. But here's an Imperial Clipper right over here. Okay, well, we've already seen an Imperial Clipper battle. However, that one was in combat. This one's not. So before it gets into combat, I'm just going to start firing on it and, and not even scan it. Because let's see what happens with this. So here we go. All right. Clipper that is not being fired on by an Anaconda while I have a malfunctioning pulse laser. Let's see what happens. Hey, he's, he's unleashing the beast on us. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop a shield cell. That was the last one in this bank. I'm going to go ahead and activate the next bank. That's okay. That is okay. Well, that's not really okay. Did that shield cell even do anything? Hmm. I might have turned that bank off before that shield cell actually took effect. Crap kind of feel stupid if I did that. Sometimes I do that. Oh well. We'll still get him even if our shields go down. It's okay. Everything is okay. There's nothing wrong with anything. It's okay. He's still gonna die. Yeah, it looks like these ships are getting way less behind us than in 2.1. I'm having a much easier time keeping up with them. I'm only having to use like a little bit of vertical thruster, a little bit of lateral thruster, I haven't had to turn off, like, flight assist the entire time. Yep, shields just went down. That's okay, he's down to 23%. So, whatever, as long as he doesn't blow out our canopy, which which kind of seems likely right here. Uh, I don't want to get my canopy blown out, guys. I don't I don't like it when that happens. It makes me a little nervous. You know, what, what if we don't make it back to the spaceport? Uh. It's like, I've got a lot of bounties right now. Oh, we're down to 50%. Well, crap. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before I die. But, I could have taken him. I probably could have taken him. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody says, right? Okay, shadow, retreating. And, yeah, so, okay, cool. Let's let's see if we get out of here. I'm sure we will. Charging. Yep, frame shift drive is charging. Okay, cool. Four, three, so we've made it, two, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what happened was I just shut down my shield cell bank before it actually fully charged my shields. So if I hadn't done that, I probably would have been fine. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video, guys. Just let me know what you thought of the combat in 2.2 down in the comments versus the combat in 2.1. So that was, that was a lot of Anaconda fighting. But that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.